What's up guys and welcome to Web Predications Daily Tech Tips. In today's tech tip, you're learning how to rename Bluetooth devices on your Mac. Now every Bluetooth device has a default name and that default name is what your Mac will register when you pair that device to your Mac. Now some devices default names might be either too long or too complicated and you might want to give your devices a nickname or a unique name on your Mac. And fortunately, your Mac allows you to do just that. And for this one, all you need to do is pair your device to your Mac, first of all, and then go into the Bluetooth settings through your system preferences. Now, you can use a shortcut using the Bluetooth icon at the top right there, and just click on it once, and then go into Bluetooth preferences. And that should take you straight into Bluetooth settings. Now, if for some reason this Bluetooth icon is not here in the menu bar at the top, you can simply go to system preferences by clicking on the Apple logo in the top left corner and then select system preferences. In the system preferences window, select Bluetooth and that should take you to the same page where you have your Bluetooth settings. Now the first thing you're going to see is all your devices that are paired to your Mac. Now select the device you want to rename. For instance, I want to rename my Bluetooth keyboard. So I'm going to click on it once and then right click and select rename and that should give me an option to rename my keyboard so I'm gonna give mine a new name and then when I'm done click on rename and that's going to rename my keyboard just like that I can do the same for my mouse and once again click on rename and that's it now I can also rename other non Apple Bluetooth devices that are paired to my Mac but these devices have to be currently paired and connected to the Mac for me to rename. For instance, these Sony XM3 headphones are currently not connected to the Mac. So if I try to right click, I'll not see the option to rename. So they have to be currently connected for you to rename. And lastly, there's a public service announcement from Apple on their website and it says, if you pair your Bluetooth accessory with a different Mac, your accessory might reset to its default name. So take note of that if you go and pair your XM3s or maybe your AirPods to another Mac, or iMac, then it might reset to the default name of that Bluetooth accessory. So take note of that. But as long as you use that accessory on the Mac you use to rename, then it's going to be using that nickname, if you like, to refer to your Bluetooth devices. And that's how to rename a Bluetooth accessory on your Mac. Thanks for watching. You can leave your comments and questions down in the comment section below the video. Don't forget to share and subscribe for more tips. Until the next one, my name is Chris. And I'll talk to you guys soon.